this light not doing it. Hold on. I know I look crazy. We doing the webcam today. What's up, one viewer? Just a different vibe. We doing the webcam today. They thought they won. They thought they won, chosen ones. They didn't win. God stopped them in their tracks. Stop them in their tracks. That's what I'm eating on right now. They didn't win. How you doing, Bjorn? Your enemies didn't win. They didn't win. We're on the webcam right now. If it looks different, I don't even like the way it looks. The webcam makes me look weird. I need some lights. Your enemies did not win. They did not win, chosen ones. Your enemies will never win. This is why they hate us. This is what I'm eating on right now. They're talking about a solar eclipse. Chosen ones are not affected by anything. Thank you for two likes. Chosen ones are not affected by anything. So many things tried to stop us already. Can someone please comment so I can see the chat? This is a new way of streaming. Things are going to be changing. A lot of things are changing right now. It's before our eyes. How you doing? Uh, three views. Dustin, what's going on? I was outside cleaning up chicken crap during the eclipse. The eclipse did not affect us. Dustin, how you doing? Chosen ones are not affected by the eclipse. Chosen ones, they tried to stop us, and I'm not even talking about the elites. Nice to meet you, Dustin. Welcome to the uh, the realm, the chosen realm. This is the realm where the chosen ones dwell. And if you hear it, you're, you're probably here for a reason. I got my stick. I got my stick. Hold on. I love nature, so that's one thing people will know. That's not even the one. This is the one. I got two. I had an, I got another channel, but look, let me tell you a little story. Um, I'm outside earlier and my phone falls. You see the scooter behind me. Scooter charging up behind me. I was on my scooter and uh, my phone had fell, and uh, the enemy tried to, you know, I make my videos on my phone, Dustin, so the enemy tried to attack via that way, but there was no way to attack the chosen vessel, because I got another phone right here, even though it's not that good, you know what I'm saying, uh, Dustin? Um, I'll make you a moderator, by the way. Dustin's new to the channel. Uh, we show love over here. Communication is the key, too. Communication. Um, so, yeah. Many people tried to take the chosen ones out already. And as you can see, we're still here. We're still fraternizing. We're still communicating. 
and we're still striving. I'm sure uh, all of you got hobbies and activities and goals and to have purposes and things like that. And the enemy hates that. Chosen one, what's going on? What video helped you? I appreciate the love, Chosen One. What video? What's the name of the video? Or what did you need to hear? They, they're, they're always lurking, haters. Stop thinking that the people closest to you in proximity. I appreciate you, bro. I ain't going to lie. I love love, man. Matter of fact, chosen one, listen, you're getting, you're, getting, uh, you're a moderator now. And I'm going to pin your comment. Um, welcome to the round. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm going to pin this one. We love love over here. Shout out Dustin. Shout out Chosen One. But yeah, man, they said we couldn't do it. They said we couldn't win. They're trying to do fear tactics, black magic, voodoo, witchcraft. They said when the eclipse come, three days of darkness, they act like we should be scared of something. But they don't realize they're dealing with fearless people at this point. Because we weren't always fearless. You understand what I'm saying, chosen ones? We grew up no different than the classmates. We grew up no different than the neighbors. We grew up no different than everybody. But see, at some point, whatever was on the inside of us had to be birthed. It had to illuminate. And that's when other people from outside territory, they see themselves and us. The more powerful people see, see power sees power, bro. When you walk through a store, you notice the other men that's on the same level as you. The kids, you walk right by, you may you may smile at a kid, you may say hi to an old woman, but you notice other power, and it draws attention to one another. And you say, "Man, let me keep walking because I don't want no problems because I'm powerful too." And if two powerful people if anything, you know, that's why we show courtesy. But see, as a chosen one, it's many people within the family structure, family dynamics. Guess what they tried? They tried to covertly attack. You know what I'm saying? Fear tactics. It's a big witchcraft. Fear tactics. Make sure y'all eat y'all frequency. It feel good to be chosen, man. Today is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful night. I lost my phone, but the day got better. Understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a letdown because we trusted these people. You trusted these people. You felt like, how could they? And what what did I do to deserve such a uh, type of abuse? You understand? And little did they know, chosen ones, that they were propelling us. God used them as the gas and the fuel to the destination. All it took was our proper perspective 
to illuminate that that situation. A lot of times, like 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 Dustin just said, hey man, we care what they think. We care how they feel. We're caught up in what they think versus what God thinks. Oh man, I'm I'm I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know because I'm having this illumination myself. I'm having this realization myself. People think I'm I'm a real deal creature. People think I'm a real deal psychic. People think I, I had to look at one of my videos the other day. I said, people think I'm in their mind, but no, no, no. I'm I literally have downloads. I literally see why that's happening now again this whole universe is, is a grid it's a matrix so again it's every man for himself you think you know dust them have a one-on-one -on -one. the elites we're not going to go into the spiritual realm all the way we're going to stay on earth the elites, they want people to clash. Now, you have to know, okay, I'm about to, I'm, it's real easy to, to crash out and, and clash. Just like I was saying about power, 95% <clears throat> of the black community has a problem with power. Everybody want to be powerful. I ain't even just say it's the black community, it's the world in general. People have a problem with problem. I mean, they have a, a a problem with power. Everybody wants more of it than they have. And the only solution is to be okay with how much you actually got. Because then consequently and universally, that opens you up to get more power. So there's a saying, you can't change your situation until you fully accept your situation. So they get mad when you're calm. Have you noticed that? When you're calm, chosen family, they get madder because they can't control somebody who doesn't care about who has power and who don't. <clears throat> so you bring out the worst in them based off you relax. Um, I forgot what I was saying just now can it, it, it was about to go I'm about to go here is what I was saying I'm about to go I'm about to go here but oh yeah the, they want everybody to clash the elite so in this matrix <clears throat> though it took me a while to be calm instead of being aggressive yeah that's the thing that's the thing right that's another thing fear Satan wants you to feel like you're too late. He loves to make you feel like, see, Satan is the author of toxicity. He's the author of confusion. He plays in our mind. Um, the type of mindset that you got to have has to be golden. It has to be like, I dare Satan to try to hop in. Because, again, I never was a big Bible reader. My grandmother tried to give me Bibles or, you know, tell me to read the Bible. My mom tried to tell me. But I never, it never really was a thing. You know, my neighborhood would go outside, listen to music, play basketball. Typical things kids do. You don't read Bibles. But only to figure out that how important it is like you just said like you know some it take it is a time thing there the time is a a thing right it is a thing we're not going to act like just because god is going to a restorative type of person and we're not going to act like because because the universe also is a restorative fruit is a, re, a restorative that's why we, I, I try to eat more fruit but the enemy always wants to make me compromise
fasting. God said it in the text, in the, in the text. Y'all are going to start to notice I reference a lot of texts. The new Willard is here. He have arrived. And God left us a book behind. My grandmother tried to warn me. She tried to tell me when I was young. But I was outside. I wasn't. It was impossible. And now that she, we go through things. And as you go through stuff, you start to recognize like, hey, this is bigger than what we thought. It's as big as you want to take it. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not trying to be preachy and I'm not trying to push people to do anything they don't want to do. <laughs> yeah, bro, you start fasting. As soon as you start fasting, that they, they try to come at you with food. Here, uh, eat something. You look you look hungry. You look you look like you're gonna pass out. You know, the devil plays up here. And when you could really um conquer these things you know yeah they're gonna be mad at you you're gonna piss people off i honestly be feeling like the universe itself be ready to attack you know what i'm saying not even the people people are just like puppets like i feel like it'd be it, it really be they, they're vessels you know i was saying this to myself earlier as i was walking i was like a preacher and the church is not god Right, he's he's a vessel. He's an instrument for the good, and the people on earth who do bad are not the devil. They're a vessel, which the evil is is coming through. You know what I'm saying? And it just made so much sense to me earlier as I went for a walk. I actually went out the house and I went places and as I was walking I was talking to myself and I was saying like yo there's no way all this evil on the planet is just people agreeing to be evil you know what I'm saying it's definitely something there it's, and this is where spirituality is so important and just being yourself um, I don't want evil people to turn good be yourself because that's all that I, I'm doing like, that's all that I'm doing. Like, if I was a bad guy, I'd be a bad guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm being myself. And that's why I tell you the story of my grandmother trying to give me the Bible and tell me, she still tells me to uh, watch certain things, purple, purple dollars and different features and stuff like that. I got my, I like TV Jigs. That's my favorite feature. Uh, but uh, it's an experience. This whole thing, this whole matrix, this whole lifestyle, this whole life is a matrix. I mean, it's an experience. And, like, experience is the number one key. Uh, I can't tell nobody to read the Bible because people, like, I, I'm going to start telling people that, but I already know that it's almost a synchronicity. The people who need to hear the stuff that I say or need to hear the stuff that they need to hear in their own reality they make it it's like a collision it's like a coincidence that people just are around or they hear the stuff that i'm saying at the right time like imagine like think about y'all narcissists you know how many times you try to tell them stuff and they just don't hear they don't hear and then <clears throat> it's like it's deeper than that you know what I'm saying? That's why they won't hear you. They will never hear you, bro, because it's deeper than that. What I mean by it's deeper than that, we live in a metaphysical world. Everything is meta now. Nothing is physical. So you're trying to talk to somebody in a physical form, they, 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 they literally don't care. You're, you grew up in the physical. So now that everything's changed to meta, you're still moving off of physicality. I grew up I was watching an interview with Gary Vee yesterday, 
we, they were talking about like how when we grew up, people wouldn't talk as much because you'll get punched. That's facts. When I was in school, that was facts. Nowadays, you can literally violate the biggest gangsters in the world and don't really much happen because the revenge of the nerds has spread across the whole world because that's just where we're at right now. Everything is online. Everything is virtual. Y'all don't even know if I'm an AI right now. If I didn't say that, y'all wouldn't. Y'all wouldn't think it. I mean, y'all would. Y'all, y'all wouldn't know. But because I just said that, y'all know. See what I'm saying? If that makes sense. But y'all still don't know. I be watching some of my favorite YouTubers sometimes. I be like, man, what if this person is just a, a, a total lie? A total AI. You know what I'm saying? But that's the world we live in. It, so you got to have faith. And that's what I'm really trying to trying to preach today. Like, they tried to destroy. If y'all haven't noticed. They had tried to destroy since birth. You know what I'm saying? And it's still going today. And it coming, it's coming in many different metamorphoses. You know what I'm saying? I think human AI, human AI what? Human AI real? Oh, you think human AI real? Um, possibly, possibly. Not too like not not too much. I don't believe in it too much, but I something's in the wood. Let's put it like that. Like you said, though, there it's a heart over the the words. That's why I can't see it as well. Like you said, though, their their evil work out to be good for us. Yes, their evil, their evil, their evil was a catapult, and. They have some true psychological issues. And everything they're doing is from a place of, okay, here's the thing about narcissists. They operate from different dimensions when, because, okay, if you're a young man and you have a narcissistic mother, women are more spiritual than men by nature. So they feel things, they think things, they predict things, and they move on, they move off the intuition. So if you lock a young man in a situation with an older woman, she will continuously abuse in the metaphysical to the point where it's not fair because if it was man, young man and father, what will happen is it'll be nothing but logic to the point where some solution would have took place. Eventually, somebody's going to say it's going to be too logical. No space for games. This is why you have young men grow up with a narcissistic mother and they become a player. They have to be they're always a player, you know, smooth talker. They just really good with mind games mind control and i noticed that um so you have to actually have um, a very good hold on integrity to become a real true man yeah yeah, yeah. you got to be to become something that you're not meant to be because remember they tried to destroy you through metaphysics. But it's okay because remember, like I said, everything on the universe could be restored and regenerated given the right environment. Don't tell them I told you that. The right environment, not the right, not the right, um, yeah, the right food and the right environment. This is why your narcissistic mother tries to run game on you because you look like your father. 
So psychologically, it bothers her on a core base. But see, what she tries to do is she tries to compare the two and it's, she should never, that's wicked, that's corrupt. That's corrupt. That's where they cross the boundary. That's where they cross the line. Should never. It should have never been that deep. You understand what I'm saying? It should have never been that deep. And that's why I say a woman and a man, a young man, should or a boy should never be close. Women are naturally envious creatures. A lot of things get slept on in society. That's why I be just talking my talk. Because it's like, I look at everything that's slept on instead of looking at the obvious stuff. Like, you want to really grow? Get away from your mother. And then when you get away from your mother, avoid everybody that's a man that's operating off of emotion. Now, it's okay if you hang with some people who are positive people, but that positive people still have to have standards and they still have to move to like uh, according to laws of the universe. Meaning if they gotta cut you off, they will. So it's like dog eat dog world, you know? It's like good luck, go find those people. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of world we live in. Because remember, chosen ones, they try to destroy you. And so only the truest of the truest nature lovers can ever, ever see anything, you know, solution based. Only the truest of the truest nature lovers. What's up, Aunt? How you doing? I'm just now learning that I'm the chosen one. What should I expect? This is a good question. This is a good question. I'm just now learning that I'm a chosen one. What should I expect? Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Uh, expect, uh, let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not gonna just give you something off the top of the dome, man. I'm gonna actually, let's see. Um, he said, I'm a new chosen one. Y'all write in the comments what y'all think too. Um, hate, jealousy, and envy. Hey, shout out to chosen one, man. He summed it up real quick for you. Um, Instead of me telling you, um, how about you tell us what you've been already expect, like what's already been happening, like what's been going on in your twenty four hours, like your twenty, your your seven days a week. What's what what have you been noticing that made you realize that you were even a chosen one? Uh yeah, I just got done saying women are naturally green eyed, so let's let's do this real quick too, family. Let's separate sex, like gender. Let's separate gender and people who are just naturally jealous. Because I don't know about y'all, but when I was growing up, men were jealous too, but not like, that's not like a trait of a, like a real man, like you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like I don't think like that's like I seen that amongst like I don't know like the generation I grew up in and my my environment, my surroundings. I seen some of that, but like the more alpha ones didn't really do it as much. You see what I'm saying? Uh, that's like beta and fem and female. So that's reminded me on this channel just to, to key in on that so that we can departure from that energy completely. 
that energy can't come on this channel because we got to remind ourselves affirmations that we're different we're, we're different we're different i don't hate on people um i did one time i'll be honest one time my whole life and i really wasn't hating i just was confused on how this person was so good at, at this sport and my friend quickly told me i was tripping and then it was gone that demon had left me it was gone but women are naturally green eyes that's what i'm trying to tell you so uh yeah men don't really i don't think they really move that way completely if they if if they none of those expect them to try to control and control yes and they use confusion. and again when we say the word they we say the word they uh there's narcissists that are um all over the world you know what i'm saying narcissists all over the world um far and few in between you know what i'm saying they just out here and remember when we talk about the spiritual realm that's 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 a spirit can jump from body to body from city to city from town to town okay shout out to Ant. he's only 20 young young blood in here but at the end of the day and just know you the chosen one uh another thing about uh, and, and this is my first because every chosen one is their own person but at the same time at the same time uh it's a journey so it's like you're gonna have your own story your own unique um thoroughbred individual story and narrative that nobody can't take from you see being a chosen one is being a scapegoat being the black sheep is being yourself and it's a it's a it's, it's something that is real life even though i was just saying everything now is virtual matter you know the world is way different than it was um, i don't know if it's good or bad in that regard i think it's just different but either way it go just self-respecting yourself is the key doing your work doing the inner work doing the, the healing process i'm eating i'm look at what i'm eating right now this is the orange by the way this is the orange by the way but walking a path of healing walking a path of self-respect this is my definition of what chosen ones is all about living accordance to scripture text what god say understand that you're gonna make mistakes because yeah we can talk about all the hate that's gonna come but it's not gonna do nothing to you because this path is your anointing if you're chosen when you're anointed and you have things angels and things working for you you have stuff that's just imagine people rolling out a red carpet for you yeah just imagine that and and, and again do most chosen deal with uh do most chosen deal with game stalking um yes simply said yes um part it's a part of being a chosen that's it but don't take again don't take nothing it uh, everything is real we live in we live and as long as you're on this planet everything is real the world is real don't but don't take nothing to this is my advice just as a human like, like as a human being don't take nothing you see don't even take nothing you see on the internet serious and then don't take people walking around in the flesh 
Don't take them serious. They're, everybody, this is a play. Everybody is a joke. Don't take nobody serious. The less you take people serious, the more you'll you'll be able to live in your own chosen one abilities. It's a joke, everything. Um, it's really beautiful. You see everything for what it is. Just stay on the right path. And I promise you will reach the abundant lifestyle. My bad. I just want to come off as I just didn't want to come off as negative. Everything ain't what it seems. Facts. Said. No, for real. Everything because, okay, some things is absolutely what it look like. But it typically be the stuff that you yeah i like the word seems right i like the word seems people overlook that word all the time because seems have the word see s-e-e -E. so when you're dealing with like my brother anthony in here he said he's 20. he has not seen what i've seen i have not seen everything he's seen possibly Nine times out of ten. This is why I say every chosen one is really truly different. Despite the age. You know what I'm saying? Um you might invent something I can't invent. You know what I'm saying? You could be the next this or that. You know what I'm saying? That's what people gotta realize. Like, like you can't be anybody but in that you're somebody Suzanne. so the word seen and the word see is everything because literally everything depends on what we do see and don't see if you don't see something that's good for somebody else if you do see something that's good for you or it could be bad for you you know what I'm saying it could be bad for you depending on what you see. If, if you can't see it without something negative coming with it, you know what I'm So when you say everything ain't what it seems, it's like that's true. This whole thing is a matrix. That's what that's that's what we're saying. Everything is. Um, a hoax everything is cloaked in this the stage you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day again self-respect self-awareness self uh experience self-love um i even um recommend people go find therapists go find and that's what the s at the end go find gurus go find people who can untether you from stress anxiety fear doubt these lower vibrations desire is a low vibration sometimes i desire to be this to be that to get this to get that where does that energy truly come from is it really masculine is it really is it really managed to to desire um something because the, that's a low vibration you know when you don't desire such stuff it, it, it shows up it shows up when you say man i'm i'm, I'm sure i i got faith that i'm gonna be good and everything gonna work out then here come that car here come that girl here come the you know here come everything you want here come the stuff that you think you want so it's like like you said everything ain't what it seems you the fact that you think you want it the word think the word think means that that's psychic that's psychological you think you think you want it you know what i'm saying this is why i say people need to get with a guru because gurus can teach you like anything that you think see feel touch hear smell 
it's it's not actually going to make you happy um, because people, because again, 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 you either in or you out. You either in or you out. Meaning, only a few people are good enough to maintain their self esteem when they get around other people, places, and things that. I don't even know the word, man. They they just they're good at fooling a magician. You know, they're good at making you believe in them over believing everything you've been working on, everything you've been doing, everything, you know, if you go, this is a lot of our first times here on earth. You know what I'm saying, as far as we can remember, as far as we can think, right? So I don't want to speak too so as far as we can think. So my thoughts aren't trustworthy, your thoughts aren't trustworthy, nobody thoughts mean anything because we don't know what we don't know sometimes we don't know what we don't know just expect okay for back for anthony just expect a lot of people to try to read your mind tell your future use uh witchcraft black magic um um uh just put a lot of things on your pathway that you don't deserve but at the end of the day uh what you gotta really do is read the bible and that's why i said i don't want to start becoming this preachy guy who just keep putting that read the bible read the bible read the, i don't want to become that guy but I'm telling you right now god left some text behind People sleep on the power of words and what they mean, the manifestations of words and black magic and white magic. You know, people don't go into that type of knowledge and that type of uh, contrast. They don't go into those type of things to, to actually see. You understand know what I'm saying? Chosen one to actually see that there's equal. Yeah, words are spelled exactly. Exactly. And when your parents are telling you, man, you should go back to school and you should be this tall and, you know, your ex left you because you were an asshole and, you know, they're actually trying to steep you in a, a, a horde, a horde. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I say, like, men should be around men because men ain't going to talk to men like that. Men ain't going to talk to men. Like, real men ain't going ain't gonna to do that. They're gonna be like, man, listen, she, man, you did mess up here. You could have been better with this. You know what I'm saying? But, man, you that, you that, you that ignorant. You know what I'm saying? You that ignorant. So come on, right? Let's go get some more females. Let's go get some more money. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. But see, again, I'm not gonna knock women too bad. I'm not gonna knock single mothers too bad. Because they did what they had to do and they got us to a certain point and and again the world is so corrupt that i just can't i can't knock them because they're they're victims they're casualties in the war so it's like i'm not even gonna knock them like that but i'm just saying man like as far as what god left behind he left something so beautiful behind a lot of people see see i speak to people who've been who've been wounded in this joint but at the end of the day Chosen ones, listen. Have no fear. Have no fear. Because again, God left a text behind. He left. He left. He left us something to prove to us that even when you're in the darkness, this shit. Uh, excuse my French. This is still gonna work. Like, I don't know if I got to type up some, some scriptures right now or not and read some, but whatever issue you got, okay, I'll type that in, Anthony, for sure. Whatever whatever issues you got, like, just the other day, what I typed in, um, I typed in a couple of them. I just typed in verse four, like, I typed in verse four, and then I typed in a situation that I'm having 
anger, not that really an issue with, but a little bit blurry about in my life. And I noticed, I'm like, yo, if only I was disconnected to this type of information from birth, and I had as much like desire, well, that's a little vibration. If I had en enough, you know what I mean? Like if I had enough, like, it's not really desire, but it's like somewhere around that word, like enough, like will or love, compassion or something just to know or just respect that's probably the, the right word just respect like that's why the chosen ones had to be wounded because even though we're like precious people and good people like we just didn't know we just didn't know a lot of people just didn't know that God was who he is. See what I'm saying? How, how would you know? How would you know? Something called tough love. I don't know if that's what it is. I don't know if that's where I want to go, but you have to understand God is a, a man and he's disciplined. He's a discipline oriented, oriented because father time you gotta understand how much of a alpha male god was for him to take a sacrifice like that that just made the two next thing i need to do fast and yes me too and I don't like to read. I don't. I, I I I hate reading. But what I will do is type in scriptures that apply to things I'm struggling with. And I might, I just might do an audio uh, of somebody reading it for me. I think there is somebody like that out here. But I still, even that, I get bored. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I I'm not gonna lie to you. I get bored. I don't like to be read to. I don't like to read. I'm like I don't. I mean, reading reading the chat is different, but reading like chapters on chapters, I, I feel like I'm a visual learner. So when I go through something in person, it's just it's beautiful to see God fix something. Like, okay, I'm like whatever. If you got a problem with confidence, you know, whatever it is, someone doing voodoo on you, like anything, like that's why that's how you know it's God. You know what I'm saying? There's not a situation. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing you've been through that he's not gonna already been like, I knew he was gonna go through, go through that. So who's really more dominant? The narcissist or the scripture? You see what I'm saying? Because it's like, you could also get caught up in just being mad at the narcissist. And God don't even want you to do that. Excuse me. God don't even want you to do that. That's why God said, honor your parents, your mother and your father. He knows that, you know, narcissism, narcissism could break out within the very people that are nurturers. But Imagine you with your father and your mother's acting in the ass, right? Your father says, son, don't pay your mother no attention. She's acting in the ass. You're going to be more likely to listen to your father than to adhere to your feminine mother acting in ass. But if you're raised with just your mother, with a vacancy of a father, you're already in a certain type of chemistry. You see what I'm saying? Brought you by Satan. So it's like, you have to understand where you stand already to know how to get across the street or to get wherever you need to get. Because again, we must understand that 
people raised differently don't have the same issues as people raised a certain type of way. Whether you're a good guy or not, you could be a good guy, good intentions. You got good intentions, but everybody in your neighborhood and everybody in your environment intentions, they, they differ, they're all different. So you put a good guy in a bad city like Kendrick Lamar, good kid, mad city, disaster. But it works so perfectly. Like that good kid is so such a scapegoat that is not even funny. Um. So am I just supposed to be myself all throughout my life? Don't be yourself. Be the best version of yourself. Chase, listen. Subscribe to me. I label myself a lifestyle coach because. I'm, listen, I'm only here to help. I'm a vessel. I'm a vessel. I'm a vessel. So it's like, I would not tell somebody something that I would not tell myself. That's what I live by. That's what I live by. Um, so be yourself once you get the tools to be able to be yourself without tremendous consequences. Because a therapist taught me that if you're in a concentration camp and you decide I'm gonna be myself, you're gonna suffer severely, right? I'm just giving you some logic on top because it's when you're looking at a YouTuber, it's easy to get caught up in what they say and it sound motivational, sound inspirational. But you don't recognize like, oh, man, I'm about to go walk back into the lion's den any, any, anyway. You know what I'm saying? But it's like this ther therapist named Jerry Wise. He's very wise. Jerry Wise is very wise. And he taught me that. He said, you know, he's a YouTube. He's on YouTube. But he taught me like, um, yeah, same rules apply to life. So when you get better, you will get better. It may take a year, it may take five months, it may take, you know, but you got to do inner work. So when you say be yourself, it's tricky territory because each day you evolve. So I'm not who I was yesterday. I'm not who I was a week ago. I dang sure ain't who I was last year because as you do inner work, as above, so below, as within, as without right so as as you do inner work you you're not the same person because say my mom come in my room and kick over my trash can yesterday it may trigger me right but as i do as i if i do work that that night i can literally shift my inner self uh my inner my inner um uh, my energy inner my energy my inner genetics i could shift my inner i could sh shift myself to a point where i don't see it as that bad because i understand why from that position of doing that journaling oh well why does that trigger me oh because it makes me feel less than a man i can do that off the top of the off the top of the dome because i know exactly why that would trigger me i know exactly why a mom coming in their son's room kicking over the trash can will make you feel it will, will make you feel like you're not that guy. But again, it's for you to do the inner work. And so as you do these things, you recognize being yourself is something that you, it's an, it's, a, it's like the, um, the eclipse is a perfect analogy. Narcissism, the world, whatever is out here to defeat you has covered your son. So imagine the son's like, Yo, should I be myself? It's like, well, if I tell them to be themselves, at this point, it's kind of like a waste. It's not, it's not, it's not the right, it's not the wrong thing to say, but it's not necessarily the answer either. But the answer is actually to just understand you're going through a process and understand that as time goes on and as you get adapt some healthy hobbies and activities and things that 
a lot of this dark stuff, the dark, the moon or whatever, the this crap will come off eventually. That's because if you give someone an overnight answer, it's not nowhere. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's nowhere near overnight. And in fact, I believe a lot of people die not understanding the information. I'm not even gonna lie. That's why I need to make courses and products. Uh, and I need to charge people for this because again, they say the game should be sold, not told. And I'm and you know, I'm such a nice person, I try to deliver as much, but I don't think nobody can actually do that. See what I'm saying? I don't think think nobody can do that like yes there's more powerful and helpful people than others but ultimately the world still revolves the same way regardless it still moves there's no answer for this because this is something uh, else it's not something that you just it's not it's not that it's not it's not um but some of the stuff we said today, like the, the words are spells, good, there's a such thing as good spells and bad spells. So affirmations, spell, if you type in on a synonym after the word spell, you get words like time. So time and spell are synonymous. If you go through a period of time, you're going through a spell. That's why I say I'm, it's like if I tell you to be yourself, that's not going to fix a spell. Because what do the people, what do people hear psychologically when someone tells them to be yourself? They hear I'm not being myself. How do I know you're not being yourself? I don't even know you. See what I'm saying? But if I tell you to be yourself, I'd be like a snake oil salesman trying to just because because chances are you're being yourself but your environment is whooping your ass as yourself so now you're confused but it's more of an eclipse type of situation right it's more of an oddity it's a weird thing some things are just weird you know what i'm saying like the situation think about it but look look how deep america fuck people over they gave us solutions for everything. Flu shot, this, that, the third. They made us think that it's a solution for everything. And it's a fast one. So now when you get met with something that takes time, it's going to scare you to death because you're going to think about all the things. You, you're scared of time. You know that it's a... a it's possible to be scared of things that take a long time. Like it's like a phobia. It, it, it's a phobia to be scared for things that's gonna take long. Because what if I don't make it? What if it don't work? You know, and all of that's feminine emotions too. What if, what if, what if? You know what I'm saying? Masculinity is like accepting of everything. Uh, you will probably have isolation periods. Do your homework on Sigma Mel. Yeah, Sigma Mel is, is where you want to be in this type of thing. Everybody want to be alpha because it look it look cool, but Sigma is is Sigma look cool too though. But you'll probably have isolation periods. Yeah, you definitely, and again, isolation is even tricky territory because you don't know whether, see, it's God, God will isolate you, but then it's like, you got to make sure ain't no, ain't nobody doing things in the dark to keep you from being social because narcissists hate you to not be, uh, to, they they love you to be isolated. You got to learn how to make friends. That's a skill. That's a skill. So even me, I had to learn that as a chosen one. I'm like, I'm in an isolation period. Cool, right? But at some point, 
know what I'm saying? I must also remember I was never that social to begin with. So let's 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 really let's unpack all that. You see what I'm saying? Because let's not confuse God's universal laws with being weird or not being social. Because I can clearly look at my past with a logical mind and see that I was not that social, even though my mom would tell me, what do you mean you used to be real social? That's all a part of the gaslighting. That's gaslighting. Whenever someone's telling you about you, they're gaslighting you. It's my word against her about me. Another thing Jerry Wise taught me was you don't trust yourself. Most people don't trust yourself. When you've been narcissistically abused or raised by the opposite sex, which is already wrong, you've already uh, took whatever pill that is. I don't know what pill it is. But it's like you took it, you know what I'm saying? Because you must remember um, self-trust is just like anything else. It's a skill. It's a skill. It's just like anything else. So if so, at some point in my life where I didn't know, it was a point in my life where I didn't know who was right me or my mother she's telling me about my relationships she's telling me about this and that and what's very very odd is that how did that come to play how did that come to be when the younger me wouldn't wouldn't have stood for that or wouldn't have even listen you know what I'm how do i get older and less confident or less the, the therapeutic word is self differentiate when you're self differentiated a mug can't tell you nothing nobody can't tell you nothing because you're not gonna listen because you see the world as is and not as whatever the hell you're trying to see it. but that's what i'm trying to say like if, when i say be yourself it's like you gotta learn how to be Right, let's unpack being yourself. You can't just be yourself. You see what I'm saying? That's even another, um, I don't know if the right word is crucifix. I don't know if that's the right word. But that's another bad thing to think that you can just be yourself. A lot of people believe that. Like, right? It's funny when you look at things through a therapeutic lens because it teaches you everything ain't what it seems. Like, bro said earlier, like, it's not what it seems. I don't know if I'm kicking good knowledge right now and y'all just listening, but I mean everything I'm saying. Like, you have to understand that this world is way more dynamic and crafty than you ever imagined. So when you think you're just going to go in and change something, you got to ask yourself, am I really making real change? I just don't my future to get ruined from my current situation. From your current what happened currently especially if the quality of you you will probably have isolated especially if the quality of people around you is lacking is is lacking you will be isolated from them that yes as a chosen one you definitely will because your frequency is not nothing alike um you care about yourself not saying they don't care about themselves, but everybody is just different. Everybody just like like I said, chose everybody different. They you not them, they not you. And again, don't ever let nobody question. If you feel like you chosen, don't ever let nobody question if you're actually that. Uh, you know, people people tell you it's narcissistic to tell, I had a female tell me it's kind of narcissistic to think that you chosen. That were to call yourself chosen. Listen, we don't get no energy to that. Um, 
healthy routines will help greatly. Facts. A routine is a spell. Everything take time. We you everything spell spell when I say spell, I'm I'm equating that to time to time. Father time. You know what I'm saying? Father time. That's what they call the man. Father time. Father spell. Spell duration of time that you missed with your father. A lot of guys were not raised by their father. But God is a substitute. God is the, well, I ain't gonna call him a substitute, but God is like, you know, besides your earthly earthly father, he's really a spiritual a father. He's really like a father figure. He's giving you discipline. He's giving you laws. And if you look at them, you will do better than a lot of your peers, for sure. This is just something I just noticed. Like I just started. Realizing. I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, like my grandmother tried to give me a Bible. She tried to tell me to read it. She tried to point me towards religion when I was younger. And in all reality, I wasn't ready or whatever the case. I just simply didn't. I thought it was bull crap. But that's that's you know. It's unfortunate, but I'm here today. And and I love when I mess up and I get to come back from whatever it is I messed up. Like people don't understand that feeling because that's a different type of W. That's better than just winning off the off the rip. Uh, people um, healthy routines will, will help greatly try to sleep. Yo, I've been getting some good sleep, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't know if this just going to work for me, but I guess y'all can sleep near y'all narcissists. But when I sleep, I got places like I, I created places where I can sleep. Away from the narcissist, like my own, you know, because again, a lot of people suffering from financial abuse and codependency. And when you're under the roof of somebody who is narcissistically abusing you and my personal pain that's a horrible position to be in and i think even on a subconscious level when you try to get sleep you don't get the best amount of sleep because i don't had good sleep in the in the narcissistic crib but when i get sleep in other places it, it's like i promise you it's like my whole life come back my memory my my health, my everything feel like it's restoring. I don't know if it's just me. I'm, I might be talking too much, but I'm telling y'all, try to get some sleep like in a different place. Even if y'all gotta like, I don't know, y'all gotta like create this place. Like it could be like a little dangerous or whatever. It don't, it don't gotta be with a family member because that might not give y'all the effect I'm talking about. It gotta be like an independent thing. Even if it's in a tent, it could be in a tent, it could be like in a car, it could be but you're gonna be able to sleep for as long as you re you really wanna and you really need to sleep. A lot of y'all just got disrupted sleep because a lot of people wake y'all up. A lot of people get on the phone early in the morning, walk past your door, waking you up, violating. And when they doing that, they playing with God. They playing with they playing with time, your time, time. Don't let nobody play with your time. I'm telling you, time is God's last name. Time. Don't let nobody play with your time. You will make quantum leaps if you master time. Healthy routines will uh, to try yeah sleep at the same time. And for me, I don't try to go to sleep at the same time. I just naturally let it happen. Now, a lot of people got jobs and stuff. So it's it's like, I don't got no job. So like, I, I literally dropped everything and decided I'm gonna do YouTube. But I also decided like, I'm just gonna be free. And that's what Anthony was talking about, be yourself. I decided that like, I mean, it wasn't really a decision. It was like a, 
I had to, you know, like that's why I say it's a process. Like things will fall off. Like you, I can't keep these jobs for nothing, even if I wanted to. Like I can't do it. So me being honest killed the lie. You see what I'm saying? It kills off the lie. I can't, you know, I go to work. People be people could tell I don't want to go. Like they could tell I don't want to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't want to mess up for them. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like my manager and stuff, like they really working hard. And, that, and if I don't, it's like dating a female you don't want to date. It's like, why would you do it? Um, you can also talk directly to the Almighty as well as we do. Yeah, you can pray, you can yeah, develop a relationship with the Almighty. For sure. Shout out to um Dustin. Shout out to Dustin with that knowledge right there. Uh people do not like delayed gratification. Yeah, they they, they it doesn't feel right. And the crazy part is YouTube has taught me delayed gratification a lot. A lot of people don't realize that anything that comes from God, it will not be no no there will not be no uh it will not be like that. Or you know, they, his last name is Time. His last name is Time. I think that's gonna be my slogan. Because everybody, I'm telling you, if people could just get, I got to catch people up to speed, no pun intended. I got to inform them why I am how I am. Because what's the point of watching a YouTuber if they're giving you some, like, like most people, what they do is they give you sprinkles of knowledge and then they hide the rest so they could make you pay for it. But y'all got to know exactly where I'm at. Like on a on a metaphysical level, I gotta know exactly what type of time I'm on, and it's Father's time. It's me realizing that there's fake religious people out here, but I can I can't see that from across the street. I can only see that from being real. So I'm saying I have to be. You can't even. You can't even halfway fake it and halfway not fake it and see that you have to actually be a believer for you to say oh wait it's people who just not about the life like when i used to play basketball you had to really start to treat the basketball like your best friend you had to bring it with you to school you had to bring it with you you just had to bring it with you everywhere because I noticed at some point when I really got good, I noticed that what made me good was I started to adopt the game as a lifestyle. Because I noticed, I said, there's people who treat it as a, as a game and a sport, and there's people who treat it as their actual life. And when I, when I got that Big Bang moment, that thought, it killed all deception of why I wasn't the guy. And then I became more of that guy. That's when I noticed I was better than I thought I was. You know, that weird moment where you realize I'm better than I think I am. There's more in me than I thought. That's what happened when I, you know, I went to the court by myself. It was the moments when I was by myself and no one was around to see it. There was no no one was around to see the tree fall. You know what I'm saying? Those were moments I noticed. There was my relationship. It was the intimate relationship that I had with basketball that really made me cook people on the court. And it's the same thing with YouTube. It's father time. Like you have to have time. You have to have an understanding of time, a concept of time. That's what separates the boys from the men. Like when you develop that, you become good with women become a better lover you just become a better man you get better at everything because that's the one element that father would have taught son that mother can't teach son well mom could say be patient 
I ain't going, I ain't going, I ain't going, I ain't going to do that. Mom can do it to a certain degree, but most women don't really got patience themselves to be saying that. So they'll say it, but then you'll look at them as an example, and then they'll be like, they'll be like rushing you with like telling you you're not good enough and all that crap. So it's like it's like a confusion type of thing. So you gotta be careful. Um, yeah, people don't like delayed gratification. Exactly, that's what I'm kind of saying. Delayed gratification, like, why am I praying if it, you know, if if, if that's not helping me get the, the Mercedes Benz? Why am I praying if, if my girlfriend not gonna fall off the sky? You know what I'm saying? Why, why, why am I doing YouTube videos if I'm not if I'm not where my favorite YouTuber is? Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, people don't understand, bro. Like, I felt that way about YouTube millions of times watching other people and it's just like who like until you say who cares it ain't gonna work because 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 again to go with what anthony was saying about being yourself it's like you you don't realize that by you keep watching other people you gotta be see it's a consequence for everything we do on this planet even the stuff you don't know that's 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 harming you see what i'm saying so you could be just watching people innocently you watching people like you innocently watching people but you don't realize like i'm not producing them. i'm not talking and you feel also connected with these creators but that may be the path you need to go through to get to the thing because it's youtubers shout out to arlen moore i don't know if y'all know who arlen moore is I, i'm a big fan of arlen moore a lot of people wouldn't know but he's a believer in christ and he's a lifestyle coach and i fell in love with his content like last year but he his content's a little different now but at the time he just was teaching me like you can believe in god and also be a lifestyle coach and also just put that all in your content at the same time and um when he got big because he was already kind of bigger than me with fans and stuff like that but when he got big like bigger than big there's always this moment of like a a break where it's like okay i followed him to this edge but now he's on the other side and i can't get over here and you lose relationship even through the internet you're like i don't they don't really post as much as they used to or you know they don't post every day so it's like you don't get to see them as much and those moments are you know he taught me i think he he, he gave me that concept like you, you should put like not to me but to, to his fan base like you got people who consume and people who create you dig what i'm saying so if you don't look at it that way how would you ever wake up from the matrix? How? There's no incentive or no, there's, it's in plain sight, but you can't see it. You can't see that. So between him and my therapist and my mentor, I got a lot of people who I listen to, but they all wake me up with the things that's invisible. There's a lot of invisible things in the matrix you cannot see. That's why I don't give people simple answers because you cannot see it. Um, so yeah, can I have friends? You can build friends. You can vet people. And the reason why I, I always put skill in front of, okay, so you got organicness and then you got skill but i i believe in both so you're gonna organically okay you've been living an organic life so far and you're not satisfied with it right now now if your life get worse you're gonna wish you can even at least have the, the um the bad organic life that you have but everybody could use a little sprinkle of knowledge wisdom and uh, you know those things to enhance what they're already having so 
chances are there's some people you probably know already a little bit but i always tell people download bumble download uh um, i had another channel but i lost my phone earlier so i might not even be on that channel no more um bumble facebook friends facebook dating and um beagle is a good one i've been on beagle lately i lost my phone so i might not be on there no more been meeting some nice women across the, you know across the, uh, the states and stuff like that um and meet me so you gotta okay so there's two different types of friends you got neighborhood and city and people you ran into maybe at the mall the store the corner store then you got metaphysical meta you got facebook bumble you got the apps you got me right now and what's funny is again one of the blind spots in life if you don't differentiate and say you everybody has their own point where they recognize or what they deem their friend so you talk to me for like an hour but you still don't feel like we're friends is because something in your mind did not accept that information but it won't accept it because you're not really believing in yourself to have that you you took life as is like everybody that's my friend i had to meet them in real life but see I, I had to snap that thought and that cord because my cousin from down south has a roommate that he met offline years ago and they're roommates and really close friends and that kind of taught me that kind of taught me like like you know we grew up everybody was outside everybody who was your friend was in your neighborhood but you got to understand that that's not what it is that's not what it is right now uh 50 will be online 50 percent will be in person but don't sit around download those apps beagle meet me bumble download facebook and start sending out friend requests start meeting people and then the first friends you make that take good photos, ask them to take some photos for you. Change all your profile photos on every social media. And set up some friend dates. I don't know if that sounds right, but set up some friend dates, go get some coffee, you know what I'm saying, go get some tea, uh, go for a walk. You know what I'm saying? It can be simple little things like, like ride bikes, uh free just think of some free things that uh are cool or fun play basketball um and just take it slow and everybody not meant to everybody uh, okay another thing you gotta realize anthony your life is not where it's going and it's different from being stable in, in one place than it is from being like chosen ones move like this we move like we move like this like like this is the chosen ones right here. we move like this you know what i'm saying we move like we we we're we're motion oriented creatures we're not meant to stagnate and stand still and when we do stagnate and stand still it's not for a long time like it's for it's for you know how people say i'm not here for a, fun, a long time i'm here for a, a fun time or something I'm, I'm here for a fun time not a long time like we're special so everybody ain't gonna appreciate us and, and nine, nine times out of ten people get to hate it so it's like you got to remember that you're different that's just one of the key elements and one of the things you got to embrace uh, about yourself and don't let that beat you up more so take that as a code of honor you know what i'm saying like yo i'm different yo. It's, you know it's cool you know what i'm saying like spiritual things but these things again remember you got to deal with your environments differently 
than the average person. The average person go walk around all day because they're average. You got to move with a sense of just understanding you different is the easiest way I would put it. So, yeah, get those apps downloaded and just understand you different. And everything you do, gonna either people going to love it or hate it. But it's, you know, either way it go, you do got to develop your ability to speak. You do got to develop your ability to randomly come up with the right things to say in random moments where things don't even make any sense. You got to kind of develop your sense of imagination and your ability to just talk and make things make sense because that's literally what the game is. That's what life, life is a game. That's literally what you got to talk. And, you know, even when it comes to spirituality and the chakras, you got a throat chakra. And a lot of times, typically closed with a lot of us. We're not supposed to be talking. We're not supposed to be vocal. We're supposed to sh shut up, sit down, go to school. So just understand, like, it's more inside of me than, than what you what, what we think. It'd be more inside it, it'd be more inside of us. So it's like, don't ever just let uh, life move you. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you can have friends, bro, but like, I got a couple people I text, but I don't think I don't deem them friends. Like, you know, say I don't deem them friends because it's like I call it PF potential friend. You know what I'm saying? That's what I have to call it potential friend. Because to me, a friend is somebody who, you know, it's it's like we linked up a couple times. We don't went to to the movies or something. We don't did something to where it's like, I, 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 you know, not only do I trust buddy, but I feel like, like, I feel like damn near how I felt with my original friend. You know what I'm saying? The people I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? Because I talked to Buddy so many times that we really linked up in person type deal that it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's respect, like, you know what I'm saying? But if it's just texting and it, and it don't go farther than that, now remind you, you got to set up, you got to set up those um, meetups because a lot of people, like I said, when you were chosen one, the worst thing a chosen one could do is sit around and wait for somebody to set something up with them. They ain't never going to do it. They ain't never gonna do it, chosen ones. Because you look different, like chosen ones, you're different. Everything about you is, is spiritual. So if you're spiritual, think about it like this. If you're spiritual, if a spiritual person can't wait around for an, uh, another, I can't call them non-spiritual, but like somebody else. Like we're not those type of people. We have to actually be assertive. That's what people don't realize. Well, that's why you said, what do I expect being a chosen one? That's that's one of the, the qualities and characteristics you must adapt is to be a slightly more adaptive to situation. You know what I'm saying? Understanding that people are not going to understand me unless I talk. Because I don't been quiet and then and then now I'm seeing a side of me where I'm vocal, right? In my 20s, 25 and up. Uh, age age range. When I was younger, I was more vocal with my friends, but not with everybody. So I, I sometimes I'll be sitting around thinking, like, man, if I was this social when I was 13, 14, 15, <clears throat> things would have been totally different. So just being social, it's a, it's a skill. Don't think that. Don't think that uh, you can't have friends because you can have them, but just know that everybody's not necessarily a friend just because they call you just because like you gotta really you gotta really vet people so you gotta realize chosen ones are dealing with a small portion because a lot of people we just naturally ain't going to be around in the first place then you got the other portion who they cool but they not necessarily meeting, they not necessarily meeting the ramifications completely and then you know you got the you got the outlayers who are actually i ain't gonna say they chosen but they chosen we choosing you know they they be choosing them because they're they're literally so different than everybody they, they're they're nice people a lot of you know 
you just gotta get your feet wet. Get your feet wet with this. And, and nice people are what the chosen ones need. That's what chosen ones need typically. We need nice people. I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna um like if I could dumb it down, like I'm not saying dumb it down, but if I could like put it in like easiest way to digest right now because that's a part of being vocal too like knowing how to like say things that make sense because like youtube is a platform like youtube a platform i want everybody to be able to see what i'm saying right now like chosen ones vibe well with nice people have y'all noticed that because i don't want to be like a like you know weird right now like i feel like that's what chosen ones we, we really only connect because even if somebody's mean but they're being nice to us we don't trust you you see what i'm saying like we don't trust you so it's like we're not going to really want to be around that person anyway so it's like they could be nice to us all they want but it's like i already don't want to be around you so it's like that's just how i feel man. Right? i just don't my future to get ruined for my current situation. Friends are fine if they are not if they are not telling you that you are you aren't this or that. Some friends are actually frenemies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some friend, some fr family members are family pretenders, and some friends are frenemies. Yeah, they can't be doing none of that. That's why I say you got to vet. I vet everybody. I vet everybody. Like strangers, like neighbors. Like as soon as you start talking, and I know this because you got to get to the point where people don't even talk to you because they can tell that you're not Oh, you're not naive because they can, they can, people see it. Let's just put it like that. They can tell. Because I can tell now that I've been doing this long enough, cultivating this eyesight, this awareness, I can see that they see me seeing them, seeing me, seeing them, seeing me, seeing them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that deep because people are really stalkers. So it's like they really trying to see if you got any weaknesses, any this or any that. So let's put it like this. The more you do this type of knowledge that we talk about today in therapy and the people I, 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 I talked about today, like getting better therapists and better this and that, kind of like a support system, you start to become different because you start to see like everything I see ain't necessarily true. And I, and I don't think people see how deep that is and important that is. Because with that openness of a mind, people don't want to come close, predators-wise, because they don't, predators don't want to get caught in a trap, which is an open-minded person. Because if you're open-minded, chances are you connected with your own tribes, your own people. You, you're not a close See, a chosen one with a closed mind will only connect with the narcissist. You will only connect with the store clerk. You will only connect with these kind of like earthly beings. But like a chosen one with an open mind, they don't want that type of smoke because you're not, it's not even fun. It's not even a game at that point for them. It's like, them going to a party where they're going to get humiliated and teased and bullied themselves. So your open-mindedness uh, could be taken as a bad thing. But again, it's just, now we're talking environmentally. You know what I'm saying? You need to be in the right environments. Be, even being in someone's chat is being in a good environment because how many times, I, I mean, I spend all day on YouTube. I'm a YouTube fanatic, but some youtubers honestly make me feel a type of way just by listening to them talk i got a therapist i told you i jerry wise just by the way you talk just by the way td jakes talk 
You know, this is how you know vibrations are so real. You know what I'm saying? We are literally instruments, bro. Like, just by hearing or, or your favorite YouTuber post a video, you're like, yo, I'm going to put this in my watch later because I got to get my food first to sit down and watch this person. That series. This is my soap operas. You know what I'm saying? So is that series. You know, if it ain't that serious, then it's like crazy. Friends are fine if they are not telling you. Yeah, if they're not telling you this, or you can't do this and do that. Yeah, some people frenemies for sure. They don't. They don't like to see you. Uh, he said friends can be just like family members. Envy is jealous, spiteful, and like I said, strangers can be. I'm telling you. I, change the aim of the weapons don't aim at your family and friends well do it do it until you don't have to do it no more because they'll get the message eventually maybe a year in they're like okay this guy is not you know he's not an easy target um at, at some point the devil will get tired of sending people you know and try to send people who know who you know. Or send people who you don't know. And they don't know anybody you know. But in the spiritual realm, they know it. You see what I'm saying? They don't know them by face card. They know them by the spirit. So when they see these people, they already got a contract in the spiritual realm that says, we about to team up on somebody. We just need, you know, the spirit is communicating. Like, you know, when you meet somebody, like I said, a YouTuber or somebody, and you're like, wow, this person actually gets it. It's, it's that type of energy with them. So be very careful. And like bro say, it can be a mixture of this. It could be a friend and a stranger. It could be a clerk and a and, and, and a teacher. It could be a it could be anybody teaming up. It could be a friend and a member. You know what I'm saying? It could be anybody coming together as a dynamic to create chaos, destruction, and havoc. So the better you get with this, and this is like a mathematic equation, the better you get with it reading these things you just uh realize that the whole world is full it's a it's a game it's full of fools it's a matrix you know what i'm saying it's full of all kinds of stuff you just got to be ready for whatever um and don't let it stress you out focus on yourself because that all things will fall off <clears throat> of a healthy tree a healthy tree has no unhealthy leaves on it uh, nothing happened. It just hope I'm making the right decision. I stay with my parents. I'm also, I am also supposed to be focused on my purpose. Purpose is funny for me because purpose is something that I feel like with me, people tend to not realize what their purpose is until they see success coming from. Like, how do you know you're on your purpose? Now, I need I need some tutoring on this because I really don't. I feel like that's something you could type in on YouTube. Like, how do I know I'm on my purpose? And people will break down, like, that. Because, like, for me in particular, I had multiple different things that I'm still kind of, because to me, it'd be more of a curiosity. Like, hmm, I really like food. Maybe I should start a business where I'm doing this with fruit and healing people this way. And it's like, it's funny because it's like, is that your purpose or is your purpose just to heal people all around? 
You see what I'm saying? So it's like a sub thing versus the, the ultimate thing. It's like, I think people need to get their purpose down to a molecule of exactly defining what their purpose is. Because at that point, you're going to do it. See, and for me, I had stupid things like work. Like I said, it was work and just narcissist and just like a combination of things that kept pulling me out of the dream the purpose and even today the you know my phone broke i, I make my okay making beats that's what's up so 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 you make beats but what does the rest of your life look like that would be my question because typically the purpose ain't the problem it's the life style not being tightened up the right way that deletes the the stuff that distracts the mind away from because a well-rested mind a well a well diet and just I could tell you what raises my creativity because I also made beats just to let you know. I actually made a beat earlier today. That's the crazy part. That's the crazy part because I used to make beats. My friend made beats and he told me this is when I used to just, I used to make my money a little different way. And uh, my friend groups, they rapped and stuff like that. And my bro picked up making beats and he was like, and my father made beats too, so I kind of school, work, gym. And usually, so what you mean usually at home? Oh, so you're, oh, you're usually at home. Um, so with me, with, with becoming a YouTuber, because this is actually the thing I would say that I love to do. I needed time. And it go back to everything we were saying earlier. I needed time. And I just didn't know how I was going to get that mug. But I knew that if I... It's just common sense though with this. We all know this, but it's still a dilemma because it's like, okay, you got to put time into what you're trying to do. But how do I get a healthy proportion of time? You see what I'm saying? But I also knew that I hated, uh, well, when I was younger, I didn't really hate school. I just didn't really, I wasn't fond of it. And work. I hated that. I ain't gonna lie. I used to work at ShopRite, multiple different places. I was ShopRite, doing dishes at a different place. Just these, just these, just all the way up into even just working at Dollar General like two years, like last year or something. And then like working at um, Auntie Anne's in the mall. I would just get these jobs. Just like when I first started, I did it because I was in school and I'm like, okay, let me get a job at ShopRite job at Kohl's. Then it was like, I didn't have a job for maybe two years. Then I had a little, you know, little, little hustling on the side. Then um, I did that for about probably five years. Just, this is easy, right? Let me just do this. This is super easy. You know, like I think deep down, uh, because we all started off in school, something inside of us desires to have easy money coming in some so some you know it's only it's only it's only right you know what i'm saying that you know that's the that's that's kind of what that leads to right being overworked by waking up monday through friday every freaking week because someone decided that that's what should happen it's kind of like yo we're gonna go for easy money at some point and then um the gym Okay, the gym is cool. I rock with the gym. I still might even open up a membership with my money get right. So I like the gym. I'm a free spirit. 
I'm a life path number five. Uh, we don't like to be locked down. I don't like to be locked down. I like to be able to spontaneously move around. If I want to go to the gym, I want to be able to randomly go. If I want to go on a date, I want to be able to randomly go. If I want to go for a walk, I want to be able to freely do it. I want to be able to move around. Uh, anything. I don't like to put times and dates on things, and I think that was a big chaos in my life. But I had to find a happy medium. And shout out to my mentor. He he kind of brought that word into a life. Uh, uh, um, he enlightened because I already knew that term, but he kind of like made he validated it for me. Like, yo, this is actually a thing. Men use that happy medium in certain circumstances. And like when you talk to a female, you don't want to be too sexual too early, but you want to have a happy medium. And I never knew that in that scenario that 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 was that, but that was that. So it showed me like in certain parts of your life, you know, it makes sense to have a happy medium. So again, school, you must be in college if you're 20. Um, I can't really help you in this area, bro, because I really don't. I'm not in school. But you're saying, should you be on your purpose? And I don't feel like you should ever not be on your purpose, but at the same time, priorities, you know what I mean? So like, you gotta dictate to yourself what makes the most sense and what gets the time the most and put it from order from one to 10 because you got to do some mathematics on that you got to say well this means more to me if this don't work then i can still lean on this got to make sure you're getting some money got to make sure that you uh i put god over money but see that's why i say like as a chosen one and see it's funny as you were the same one who asked this question as a chosen one just something called sacrifices and that's something that's something that people don't teach us in school you know what i'm saying that's why i'm happy I, I left school because the enemy is so real that they will literally they will literally um keep information from you that's not in textbooks like i mean if you look at history i you know i, I history teaches you a lot but what i'm trying to say is that sacrifice isn't just like what they call illuminati and all that stuff like, yeah, that's facts too, but I'm talking about priorities. Learning priorities will teach you the art of sacrifice because something has to go. If you want something, you have to sacrifice something up. And it's it's not just, like I said, it's not just big when it comes to like celebrities and stuff. It's really macro at a macro level too. It's really like, we know you want to go to school we like i'm reading this right now i, I already know you want to go to school you uh you want that check on friday and you want to go to the gym you don't want to leave not one of those off and when you at home obviously that's where most people they're there that's the most important one you know you're restoring i'm all about restoring i'm all about healing that's my whole end up. That's my whole everything. So I don't, I don't. Yes, bro. Be on your purpose. There is no, like whatever you got to do to reiterate your life or whatever you got to do. That's just naturally what's just, you know what I'm saying? Like that just naturally the, the leaf's falling off the tree and you can't take everything with you. Just like you can't take every friend with you when you get famous or you, get, you can't take it. Everybody can't go. So it's like, that's kind of what it is. You got to ask yourself, like, it's 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week. I got a calendar right there. You see what I'm saying? Go to the dollar store, buy one of those. It will cost you only $3, $2, $3 or something. Buy one of those, get a nail, put it on your wall. Uh, 
and just manage time. That's what it really is. It's not a simple fix. It's like, it's simple, but it's like you got to stand on it. So it's like, it's a process. It's like, buy that, see where you are in the year already, see how much time you fucked off already, you wasted, and then tell yourself, like, okay, excuse my French, because I shouldn't be talking that way. But just kind of get like a grip on where you are. And you'll start to see, like, man, I wasted, like, yo, I'm supposed to post five videos a day. And I'm already in, I'm already April 8th. Last year, I told myself I was going to reach this point. You know, you got to start getting to the point where you can see how much time you wasted. Then you'll start to, you'll start to, you'll start to, you'll start to stack on. Like, oh, okay, let me, you know, you're going to start to fight back, basically. Like, oh, okay, let me. You know, you gonna you gonna you gonna something gonna develop inside of you. Like, man, let me stop playing, bro. Like, cause you ain't playing nobody but yourself. When when all this time is slipping away from you, who getting who who not getting to the bag? Who not getting to the whatever you want to get? Who not go? Who is you? So it's like you can't really cheat yourself. You can't cheat this. So it's like the grind can't be cheap. You know, cause you go to the gym. You know that that can't be cheap. You can't cheat because the muscles ain't coming if you ain't going. It's just not gonna happen. So what are you trying to say? Um, so what are you trying to say about what? Yeah, man. Um, see, I like going live because. This, this video was supposed to be about how the enemy is trying to stop you, but see how everything correlates. It all makes so much sense when you really look at the title of the video. The enemy is always going to try to stop you, but when you got somebody, see, even God said this, that's what people don't realize. God even said, I'm God, but look to the therapist and the counselors. God said that. You know, it's certain, certain stuff that we don't even know God said. He's saying what I'm saying right now. Go get a therapist. Go get a counselor. Go get this. Go get it. Because God knew I'm going to help y'all with spiritual problems. I'm going to help y'all with miracles. But the things that you need to focus on, these things, you got to really be able to see. And sometimes you need a coach. You need guidance. You know what I'm saying? About what I should put my main focus on. Main focus, you want focus, you want priority number one. I can tell you mine. Source, God, energy, air. Those are like four four things. They're not different. They're kind of all the same. Um, they're like, I'll put it like this. Minds is very unique because we live on a universe. You go to school at a university. They're teaching you about you with all these numbers and these things, but they're really teaching you about you. History, they're just teaching you about you in a very, very other type of way but your main focus should be to survive self preservation is law number one of the universe self preservation that's the first priority you see what i'm eating right now fruitfulness god said be fruitful and multiply so whatever that thing is for you may be a little bit different it may be to whatever. I don't know what it is for you per, per se, but I really believe that your main focus should be energy. If you don't got energy, you to me, you're dead. I don't know about how you take it or how everybody else is going to say, but to me that you're kind of dying. If you don't have 
Because one big thing that the narcissist made sure I was was drained. That's one thing they always did. And one thing that, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup. So even if it's me going to the gym, I need to eat fruit because I need to be full of, I need to be full of, like, I need to feel alive. Like, I need to feel like a monster. Like, I need to feel like a beast. If it's having sex, I need to feel like a beast. If it's walking up on that girl that I think is pretty, I need to feel, you know, like I can, I need to feel hopeful. I need to feel like I can do it. And for me, fruit, fruit just happens to do it for me. Fruit just happens to do it for me. Uh, stop eating junk food, you know what I'm saying? Um, affirmations, because words are frequency. So a lot of people probably don't remember, and a lot of people really just don't know that when I, you know, probably two years ago or last year, I remember being on this channel and making shorts when they first started. And I remember some a lot of the shorts that I was making was, I was talking about affirmations. And that's when I noticed my channel started to have a little bit more uh, potential because I started talking about affirmations and that was my lane to a certain degree, spirituality. So fasting, fruiting, and affirmations, the way you talk to yourself, frequency, the way you talk to yourself. Those are my priorities. People think that like like my priorities don't match other people's but i'm gonna lie like you ever see somebody successful i'm not saying i'm successful but like like i don't see people that's really good at girl with girls like and then you ask them how you get girls and they be like i just walk away from the ones that don't tell me yeah Like, I literally seen somebody say that to me and my friends who got girls in high school. He was like, I just, uh, he was like, I just um, basically said that. Like, I just walked away from those ones. So it, it was like the mindset was just different. It was just, it was it was something that we, we thought he was going to say something like this, but it was like, the basic the basic stuff was the thing and you gotta remember if you really a firm believer in god a lot of the stuff you're going to do going to be very simple because like there is not you don't need a lot to believe in god you don't need anything so if you really believe in god a lot of your solutions are going to be so weird because they're going to be so simple when people are expecting them to be big and then they're going to be bigger when people expect them to be small like i'm telling you it's like bro this life is a journey bro your main focus is just your biggest priority what is your biggest priority my biggest priority is peace my biggest priority is to be away from losers like i got a couple of them you know what i'm saying like and they're they're all uh, they're all going to lead me to the same direction i can't say the same exact destination but the same it's all going to lead me away from havoc negativity poison toxin you know i see myself as like the god of war you know what I'm saying? You ever play the God of War where he had to like, he had to like beat lust or something with them two girls. He had to like conquer his lust. Like I, I like all of that. Like that's those are my priorities. Like my priorities got everything to do with being better. Like it was one point I had a gym membership, but my gym membership kept getting rebuked because I don't got the money to keep it with the gym membership. So I'm a broke guy, but I'm rich in other areas of life. So I kill my enemies with kindness. Yo, shout out uh, Dustin, man. Shout out Dustin. Uh, yeah, bro, you uh, you got a wrench. So just stop at any time. Shout out Dustin. He, yo, great conversation, great dialogue. 
shout out Dustin, man. One of the one of the um, new mod um, mods. I'm gonna call you a mod. One of the new mods in here. Uh, much respect to Dustin, man. Uh, great guy. Great guy. And facts, everything will work out. Everything will work out, certainly for the best. Um, yeah, protect your energy. Um, protect your energy. Um, but like I was saying, I had a gym membership. I actually had two. I had, I had one at the edge. And I also had one at the um, Planet Fitness. But I kept losing them because I didn't have money. And it's like I was trying to build my lifestyle, but it wasn't building because I was kind of like trying to build. It. But that indirectly told me to like, yo, like stop trying to fit in. Because you're a nature type of guy. So I got like a, like a, park behind my house right here and i can literally if i really want to be on some bodybuilding type energy if i really want to be on some bodybuilding type energy like i can add that into my uh my will you know then but i had to keep it real with myself i don't got time to do it like i do got time to do it but that time is not going towards that see i think people be moving because it's okay life is math so sometimes you got to take away stuff it's not all about doing more sometimes about doing less if you're not even eating healthy and getting proper rest and just like got some of the core basic things in life down pat then chances are you're doing one of those things you're doing that you may feel some like admiration towards is kind of killing you indirectly it don't mean all of the, all of them are but something got to be sacrificed if you're not happy that's all my that's all i'm trying to say because for me god was taking things out of my life because you ain't got the money to even hold it up so you you faking it you know what i'm saying and god don't like fake so it's like you faking it so i'm gonna take this away from you if you really want to still get buff you know what i'm saying do some push-ups you know buy a dumbbell or something and you know we'll see how serious you are at this level and then when you finally show this then you know, life is all about uh, being tested, tried, and stuff like that. So, when you say uh, your main focus, you tell me. You tell me what, where, where, where's your, what is your intuition telling you that you need to do that's more important than the other things? Because as a man, one thing you got to learn is something called sacrifice. This whole universe work operates on that. So what should I prioritize most or most? You tell me. The whole universe works on something called sacrifice. And if you don't learn that, then I'd be lying to you about everything. I really think that's the biggest problem. Where there is no sacrifice, where there is no sacrifice, 
there is no tomorrow. To be honest, I feel like my intuition is telling me to focus on self-improvement and to work on my dreams. <clears throat> focus on self-improvement and to work on my dreams. So what's being sacrificed in that process? Let's calculate it. What's being sacrificed? When you make that statement, right? When you make that honest statement right there, what is being what is what is going to be sacrificed to get to that goal like what what's the main two one or two to three things that you feel like is going to be um because like i said for me i did that i focused on self-improvement but i did it all on the internet people was telling people was telling me well people being narcissist was telling me you should go to a real therapist or you should go um they were saying these like slick deviants from what my intuition was telling me my intuition was telling me stay in the house and do more internet type of you know things but they were giving me their perspective not saying their perspective was completely wrong but it was because it wasn't mine just like you just said um hold on just like you just said about uh you just gave me your 100 percent answer this is how you feel see people don't trust how they feel <clears throat> so what is self-improvement consist of it can well for me self-improvement consists of a lot of studying and again the biggest thing was time i had to literally break the curse of being boggled down by other people's schedules and time i had to sacrifice even being hurt or abused by people talking crazy because I wanted to make videos instead of go to get a job. I had to see it through. I had to see it through. People call you a bum or trying to trying to insinuate things um you don't got the money there but you might get it in the in the future who cares like you gotta just understand that yin 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 theory you know what i'm saying you gotta understand that things you know you gotta actually be who you are you know what i'm saying like you gotta actually stand on it right like if i say i'm a youtuber why am i letting people talk you know, off the bridge of being a youtuber and then they talk you off of it so many times by the time you trying to actually do it you know we about to go into world war three you know what i'm saying like yeah you know i'm saying like you might not do it at all because you don't allow people to disrespect but see what i'm trying to say is like you you they training you to not trust you you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Like, you just sat here and told me what you want to do. But you don't feel connected enough to it and sold on it. And plus, you know, the second you do get sold on it, something or somebody is going to come in to deter you off of it. And you're scared. Let's be honest. You're scared that if that happens, that you're not going to make it back to this point to be able to say i am that guy it's all about building faith bro it's all about you don't trust yourself because you haven't been there enough times i've literally been talked away from youtube i literally would not post videos because 
it's not good enough and this all this heady energy right this energy up in your head but it's like real alpha energy is saying despite how i feel or what somebody may think i'm going directly at the target like that's kind of the energy you gotta have and on a continual basis and when you get it like that that's when you're gonna break that pinata that's when you gonna because because certain things on the universe only open up for certain type of guys a certain type of energy just like women and just like money and something yeah that's what it is like some things only will open up a certain type of stuff and if it don't get that frequency from you then it don't get that it's not gonna lie to you <clears throat> That's what it really is. It's not gonna lie. That's something I had to learn too. Like, cause I I do like I, on my other channel, I'm doing dating coaching. So it's like, women are never gonna lie to guys about if they like you or not. If they like you, then they like you. I feel like college can be in the way, but at the same time, I still need it just so I can get a career. Yeah, that's a tough, tight spot to be in because we live in such a crazy world where it's like you, you're you not going to, okay, I'm trying to get you to think the way I think, but I'm not even, okay, here's the thing we're all in a process in life so i don't want people to to be me but i want people to see my perspective enough that they try new things that make better their life uh but again bro i'm not in college and i'm not a school I didn't really I didn't really do school faithfully as a, you know what I mean I really didn't stand on school so I was like I might have to go back even if it's like at the end of this year or in the middle of somewhere I don't know but I'm probably gonna do it at some point I, I'm not a school guy so like luckily How can I say? I found something I love because most people who are probably dead or in jail are consequence to not finding something they love. I honestly believe the more you love what you do, because I remember I had multiple things and I still do have some things. At what rate do you love? Because I, I, I made beats, bro. I made beats. My bro told me to make beats. So I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. So that, that there's a luxury to trying multiple things. Because then you could actually have reference points to know how deeply you love something. See what I'm saying? I've done multiple things. I played basketball, I made beats, uh, worked jobs. Um, I haven't done everything. You know, sometimes I cook, sometimes I do a little poetry. But I'm doing enough to see like, no, YouTube, I can actually do this and actually feel okay with myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can actually do this and feel like, okay, I sleep at night. Uh, if, if, if the world ended, I'd be okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's look at some of those type of factors. Like, because if it ain't like that, then you don't really got a real relationship with it. And if you do got a real relationship with it, which I can't speak for somebody else, um, again, it's tough when you got to 
where you're trying to make a decision but you got college in the way now i know youtubers who started filming youtube in college so they took their thing they was doing and did it in college which made it bigger because if i was in school right now i would not cut off the camera i'm telling you that right now because i already know what time it is with people who i watched them blow up that way so i know that that wouldn't be smart to cut your camera off at college dorms or at any school so but making beats is the same but it's different so it's like you got to kind of you might be the trailblazer the first person to start making beats for somebody i don't know somebody who rap on your campus or something Yo, what city you in, Ant? Yeah, so if you feel like it might be in the way, but you feel like at the same time, you feel like it's in the way, but you feel like at the same time, um, you need it. Stand on it. Like, I stopped going to high school, so it's like, if I stop going to high school, like, senior year, though, I ain't gonna lie, so, like, really, I really don't got that much work to do. I just, I never really rock with school like that. I like science. I like math. I mean, not math. I didn't like math. I like science, health, gym art and you can see how my content kind of connects to those things shout out to philly you know what i'm saying shout out to philly bro shout out to taekwondo i know you know who that is i thank you for that but um yeah science relates to chemistry that's why i did the day in coaching and just asking the question why things work excuse me i'll be burping and stuff nah but just asking the question why things work the scientific type of question um and community college is like you're not there's no dorms right but still it's like i don't know bro like i feel like it depends why you do what you do if you want money but then you pick up something to go with the need for money or want for money then it might change how much you value what you're doing. But if you if you would do this same thing for free, like I would make YouTube videos for free. But I'm not gonna make it seem like I wanna do it for free. But I'm just saying, and I wouldn't do it as much nine times out of ten because i would be you know we live in a capitalist society where you got to do uh you got to get the bag so it's like i mean i mean you don't got to but if you don't get it it's kind of like it could be like a curse because then it's like the world could go any way you just got to sit there so it's like it doesn't really make sense to be broke so you got to just, you know, so I think if someone got the adequate amount of money, it could definitely serve serve them because even with making beats, you could buy more equipment, you could buy, you know, you could buy more marketing, more exposure, more, you know, more, uh, more, more, uh, 
middies and stuff like that. I think that's what it's called. Uh, my parents. Yeah, most people are in school because parents. 99%. Now, I mean, like, again, for me personally, my mom can't make me go back. She's tried a million times now. I told her I'm gonna go back when I feel like, not when I, now that sounds crazy, but I said like, basically that's what I said, I ain't gonna lie. But it's like, real talk, I'm gonna go back when the terms is different. What I mean by that? What I mean by that is, me and you don't even got a tight relationship. She used, she used to bring me back and forth. She used to bring me back and forth when I was an adult age. So when I was in regular school, you know, we took the city, I mean, we took the regular bus. But then as time went on, it became adult ed, which was city bus or a ride. And then, you know, I think I went up like a grade in that and then I, that's when I had stopped going. And so it's been about probably like six, seven years since I stopped going, I ain't gonna lie. And the fact that I ain't really where, like, I ain't really, with that time, I have not done a whole lot. And again, that could, that could be connected to the fact that I didn't know what my purpose was. So I was kind of like dwelling and just like chilling and like getting like temp agency jobs and like, it's like I was trying to live as an American, you know what I'm saying? But like, it wasn't given what it's supposed to give, you know. Everybody different. Some people are out here really grinding with, the, you know, uh, uh, the temp jobs, and somebody, some, some people out here work at Popeyes. They really get become the manager. They really, I, it's not for me. And so, when you're somebody like me who keep going through constant rejection, constant rejection, constant, and the rejection ain't necessarily the job. It's just my relationship with the job is just not it like so it's like stressful and then you finally run into something that you're like man this is actually good for me it's good for me to communicate it's good for me to talk <laughs> This is what happened when I eat certain stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I ate an orange, but I ate some something earlier. So the fruit will end up kicking out whatever ain't supposed to be inside of you. And it'll come through burp, it'll come through a bunch of different ways. Yeah, I know how detoxing works, but the burp is 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 um new because when we were younger, I don't think we need burp too much, but that's like it's a sign it's a good thing to work but nah like uh like i said though growth for me was telling my mom nah i'm not going back you know I mean? even quavo the rapper quavo he just went back and got his um what he his gd or something like i don't know what he got but like people don't be finishing that joint all the time like i'm not even gonna hold y'all because if you in my chat and you in my room like I gotta be myself, and cause I, you know, everybody want to be perfect. Hey, everybody go to school, finish school, etc. Listen, I'm, I'm telling you facts, man. Like, it, I can't tell you whether you should finish school or not. But your parents, you 20 years old, they, they got you in this, you know, in the situation. There, you know, for me, it wasn't it. And I can't even, I, I, I thank God that it will. I don't care about school. I don't respect it. I don't like it. I don't got nothing to do with it. Like, I don't, like, I thank God that I'm not, I like, you, you know, periodically I wake up in the morning and I'm like, yo, I used to wish that, like, you know, when I was like in high school and like, you know how they do you dirty on snowy days and they, they try to count them and make sure you got to still go, like, I used to pray for times like this. 
where I'm going to look at my my past and be like, yo, the younger me was busy. Like, I used to have to get up. Like, they was disrespecting us crazy. And, I, and, you know, in college is different because in college you got to be more of an adult. So shout out if you're in college and you really, you know, you moving more at, at, you know, it's no point to drop out or quit. But I'm just saying, they was violating me. So, you know, I've been violated. Because I've been violated in the school system and then with these temp jobs, you know, making me lift all these heavy boxes, making me, you know what I'm saying? You you got me in here literally slaving. And it ain't like it's the worst thing in the world because I'm getting a check, but, you know, it's, it's, it's bad enough. You know what I'm saying? I just think that the way certain people get done in the system it's kind of criminal. So, like, in my in my perspective, I'm not really uh, I'm not fond of I'm not fond of it, and I just I respect myself. So I thank God that I do that, and and everybody who tries to talk me back into being a punching bag, I don't write, I don't I don't know how I feel about those people, you know. And it goes into everything we said today, how they tried to destroy us. For the chosen ones they try to destroy it. and destroying comes in many different patterns and frequencies so it's like you just got to always understand that people are always lurking they're always trying to finesse i mean it doesn't have a gender to it it's just a, a spirit a finessing spirit and you got to be careful and at the end of the day every day is a new day to love yourself to hug yourself to say I'm I'm the one I'm I'm the best I'm I'm this I'm that and you know the beautiful thing about talking to yourself is that there's really no limit there's really no limit to saying that I'm the best there's really no limit it could be a, a dead lie but because you're the one who sent it and you're the one who received it it's the truth You know, the worst thing to a narcissist is for you to be a narcissist and tell yourself how much you love yourself. That they, you know, it's an indirect way. It's an indirect way to break the curse. You know what I'm saying? To love yourself, to take care of yourself. And this is why I tell people, you don't got to seek revenge. You don't got to be mad about any of the wounds or, or war wounds or none of that. Because you better believe there's an equal cure for everything negative that took place don't let nobody get in your head and make you feel like it's too late it's too late to go back to school it's too late to get money it's too late to get a girlfriend or wife it's too late it ain't never it ain't never too late because these people try to destroy you if if it was too late why would they try to destroy you does that make sense if it's if it's already too late why they trying to destroy you so bad because they trying to destroy you because they actually hate themselves they actually don't love themselves they they're insecure you see what i'm saying and they're projecting that onto people who actually have a chance at this thing that we call life and i know it sounds crazy i know it sound i know i sound like i am a narcissist i know it sounds like i'm the one but you gotta understand how this stuff works. You gotta understand how, how it works. Mind control, manipulation, voodoo, black magic. You gotta understand how these things operate and how people try to run game. And fasting, like I said, scripture, fasting, and and like 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 my like my boy and he wanted to incorporate he wanted to incorporate she he wanted to incorporate that's what life is incorporate you don't stop who you are and what you're doing you just incorporate and you make it make sense along the way. You really want to be 
player and succeed, you never quit anything that you already invested your time in that might work. Unless you see an iceberg ahead. But see, most icebergs is not seen until it's too late. This is what another therapist taught me. His name is Ross Rosenberg. Icebergs is a great analogy for destructions in life. Most Americans don't see them until they're about to hit the iceberg. So how do you win in America when everything is this way? I mean, there's not one thing that isn't a booby trap. See what I'm saying? So that's, that's crazy. I mean, you just don't win. So when you talk to somebody like me, um, and you got to recognize that I understand sacrifice a little bit deeper than the typical person because I understand it like to a degree that allows me to say F it at any call at any time. That's not fair to somebody who don't think like that. Like I could get rejected by 14 females and still be like, I'm gonna walk up to 15. I'm, I get rejected by 15, I'm going to walk up to 16. Because you got to be just as crazy as the people who built the structure of the, of the thing you live in. So basically, if I want to live a fulfilling life, every action I take has to make sense. Um... Uh, Nah. And the reason I say no is because my therapist taught me that some stuff don't make sense. But it's still the answer. Still the right answer. We live in a system. We live in a matrix. Everything ain't gonna make um, it ain't gonna make sense. That's the part where another thing it's another hidden gem is another blind alley it's another facade it's another thing that most lifestyle coaches is going to lie they're going to tell you yes it has to make sense everything got to make sense because it, it, it looks good on the way you say it but does it make sense does it make sense that we pray to god in the sky does it make sense that we pray to somebody we can't meet? Um, if you think everything got to make sense, you're going to stress yourself out. Everything don't make sense. I prioritize my emotional health. When you deal with narcissism, you realize that everything doesn't make sense. <laughs> if you try to deal with a narcissist and you try to go off of everything making sense, you know what's going to happen to you? A female narcissist and a guy who is young and the guy's trying to make things make sense. You're going to get chewed up. Because, see, you can't even care whether it makes sense or not. That's how deep you got to be in the game. See what I'm saying? 
you got to be so deep in with yourself, self-esteem wise, that no matter if it makes sense or not, I'm going with me. It don't make sense. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It don't make sense. I wish it did because then I can explain it betterly, better. And not only can I explain it better, but we could we could have a solution. <clears throat> but I'm afraid that there's no solution because at the end of the day, we're dealing with psychopaths. And if you try to make it make sense, they're going to make it make no sense. And then you're going to be confused again. Because on an emotional level, you have to be detached. You have to be detached. And that, that's more energy than it is um Somebody told me we live in an emotional world. The world is more, I think it's left brain or whatever. We live in a more, that type of world. And emotions control people, whether you're man or woman. You know, yes, men are more logical based, but in this world, it's more of a, um, you gotta be good with emotions. Everything don't make sense. Can it be explained? Can everything be explained? You can explain. You can have a deeper understanding of some stuff. But even scientists get to a point where they realize that we don't know what the hell this is. You ever heard of the spooky experiment by, um, what's his name, Einstein? What's his name? Albert Einstein, it was something that was, he called it the spooky experiment because it was scary. We fear what we don't understand. He couldn't understand something and he called it the spooky experiment. So it, I'm not saying that you should not look for learning and knowledge because it can be very freeing to find learning and knowledge but it, it, everything is not going to make sense. It's just not. Uh, there's things, esoterically speaking, that we just don't understand. Can you accept that? We don't know. Um. Yeah, some things you just don't know. Some things you just don't know, bro. But I would agree with you. If you want to have a fulfilling life, make it make sense to you. Like, the stuff that you, you, okay, yes. Explain everything to yourself. Why do I go here at this time? Why do I do it? But some stuff ain't really, like I said, some stuff ain't really for that. It's like, you got to really relax. Like, <laughs> nah, like some stuff just relax. Like, like, like for instance, like when you go to sleep at night, I don't know, some stuff is meant to be secret, sacred, secret. It's not really, you know what I'm saying? Like, my mentor always say, don't beat yourself up. Like, yeah, don't beat yourself up about it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's some stuff, like, but. World, this world is so evil. That's all it is. Confusing people, making people, lead people to blind, leading the blind.
You know what I'm saying? Like it has to make your life has to make sense to you, yes. But when something pops up that don't make no sense, you have to understand that everything ain't ain't gonna make sense. You know what I'm saying? But if you read the Bible again and you if you know how to I guess you're right in this sense. Like, it, it, you have to add everything up. You know, I'm equating that with the word making sense. You have to add everything up and bring it to uh, the scripture. Because remember, if you try to figure it out without the scripture, it ain't gonna make no. It ain't gonna make no sense. But if you add the scripture, it's still not going to make no sense. But it's going to be the right answer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's why I used to look at my grandmother and be like, I don't want to read that. Because it ain't make no sense. See what I'm saying? It still don't make sense. But it makes more sense now that I'm older. Like, you know, now that I've been through some things, it makes some more sense. But even still now it's still not necessarily making the type of sense that like it's, it's it's making a certain type of sense but it's not making the sense that it that we thought or like the, the expectations that people have is not what god is doing he's doing something outside of your expectations he's doing something bigger and grander and different than what you're expecting so it will not make sense To the typical mind, it will not make sense. It will not make sense. So what you're saying is it's best if I live my truth. Um, your truth. Hmm, 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 hmm. What you mean by that? I don't even want to answer that, Aunt, because your truth should not. I always feel like this. Some things are unexplainable, like you just were saying. You have to know within yourself what to answer that last question. Some things are too deep for television you know what i'm saying like you could lead somebody to the water but you can't really make them drink it. Like, you really can't doing the things you feel is best for me doing the things i feel is best for me The things that's best for you the things that's best for you what i'm trying to say is this man the thing that's best for us is always at our disposal whether we think it or not whether we think we need to like like i'm trying to say like my mom told me to go to college i mean go to school do this that and thing laid out a walk path for me just like everybody else parents did but at some point it wasn't working because 
I'm not my mom. She could have wanted me to do whatever the hell, right? It could have been anything. Doesn't mean that that doesn't mean anything because I'm not her. So with that being said, there's a reason why I'm not listening. Whatever that reason is, is something I have to deal with as a man or as a creature, whatever the hell, as a human, as, as a human, because it's women that take the same type of, you know what I'm saying, the red pill, whatever you want to call it. But at the same time, when you don't listen, it's a whole different ball game than listening. So again, to go back to the iceberg analogy, you have to have insight. That's all you need. Because if I knew an iceberg was there, I would sell the boat anywhere but there. See what I'm saying? So doing the things that's best for me is a vague statement. But to you, it, you may have some things on the top of your mind that you're thinking about while making that statement that I don't know about. It could be going to Walmart. Buying some tires. How deep is the thing that you're talking about? Because if it's going to last for one day, then it's going to wear off. But if we're talking about structure, this is why I talked about the Bible today because. I'm a young man, but my my pops wasn't there, so structure was not uh, there, complete. And do I envy that? Mm, possibly, yeah, possibly, because structure is vital every organism on the planet has needs structure so when you talk about the bible you're talking about something that can literally save your life but only a few people actually see that you know i'm not gonna say a few a lot of people see it but like it's either you see it or you don't type deal because like you can't you literally i'm i'm a i'm a firm believer that if i ain't go through nothing i ain't about to do it i know me well enough to know that if i ain't go through anything then i'm not reading it i'm not even gonna try but see, that's me. I don't know you like that. And you might just be really, you know, different. A lot of people different. They they like school, they like to read, they like this, that, and the third. They different than me. Uh the beautiful thing about life is we can all conversate and we all have a way to talk, but we're all different. Isn't that crazy? It's one, one, one right now. And my phone is 100% charged. One, 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 one. See, being different is a luxury. Most people treat it um, most people 
treat being different as a as a as a as a as a as a burden man why am i different i wish i was just like them i wish we all had the same last name and we all fit you know being different while being able to still have power at the same time that right there my friend that's a deluxe I don't want to be like nobody else. I got too many people I looked up to on the way to becoming who I am. And all I do with my time as I get older is scave off those connections. Like I still watch people on YouTube. I still watch uh, people who are impactful and, and very, very, really good at what they do, skillful at what they do but they ain't me so imagine becoming a fan of yourself because there's nothing else to do there's nothing else to do so then you get to a point where you got to connect to god because it's like why if it's me and god then i'm powerful you see what i'm saying like that's you know, you don't want to add nothing to that and you don't want to subtract nothing from that. Me and God, that's powerful. I could do away with everybody else. Everybody else, they ain't really, they ain't really giving what it's supposed to give anyway. People are, you're not supposed to fall in love with the things of this world. You're not supposed to fall in love with the, with the things of this world. So when you say do the things you feel is best for me it's like i don't know how to answer a lot of the questions you ask me a little bit a little bit i feel like you need therapy because i think one of the signs that i know somebody need therapy is they ask you a lot of, of vague questions either vague or personal they either be too vague or too personal and it requires you to actually think and actually go deep because it's a it's a therapeutic question and i'm not saying there's nothing wrong with you i think everybody needs a therapist but you just got to check in because you check in with with you know with these things your emotions is powerful your emotions is powerful right so your emotions is the thing that controls everything else. Even the brain is energy, power. You need power. It would not work without the emotions, the energy, the energy, the energy needs to be. Energy is the enlightening part of this. The it enlivens the the, the mind. Uh, uh. so yeah do what you love to do what's best for me is different because what's best for me is un that's another mystery i don't know what's best for me I don't know what's best for you. I don't know what's best for him. I don't know what's best for her. I'm still living, but I know what I love to do. I love to win. I love to I love to close chapters in my life that are not fun. I like to beat the odds. And I like the the feeling that comes with people who doubted me saying, nah. He actually did that, so we gotta evacuate that energy. I, I'm a Leo too. I don't know if that got anything to do with it. I'm a Leo and I'm a life path number five. So 
proving people wrong feel like breaking a barrier. Like I, you know, it could be a very healthy feeling for you. Like it feels healthy to show people that yo, you know, you ain't. I'm better than you. You know what I'm saying? Or am I just, or am I just that petty? You know what I'm saying? Am I just that petty? Where it's like, or am I just a man and I have an ego? Who knows? See what I'm saying? But see, the thing about about God that's beautiful, that I really enjoy, is that He doesn't, He doesn't attack us the way narcissistic parents attack you that he doesn't want you to okay leo gang near here yeah so okay so i'm a, i'm a, i'm a, i'm gonna lock you in just for that i'm tripping i'm touching the screen like it's touch screen. hold on this is not the iphone i'm a little tired so that's what y'all getting right now you're a moderator now and you got you can you can kick other people out and all that because you a Leo. See? And you from Philly. I think that's the tri-state area from where I'm at. So I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, God God doesn't attack us at that type of angle. He doesn't give us that type of anger. He doesn't give us that type of vibe. The thing that I love about God is that he talks in parables. Let me type in the word parable. Sounds like paradise. A parable, my friend, is a story, a saga, a metaphor, a simile. You dig what I'm saying? Very poetic type. Like he talks in symbol. You don't talk in, hey, what's up? I'm God and everything is going to be okay. You know, he's like, on June 15th, there will be thunder. And the thunder will hit the ground like drums hitting, uh, dr uh, like drumsticks hitting that are uh, banging against your windowsill and they're going to give you chills. You know, he talks in a way where you're like, hmm, it's very mysterious, very attractive very pulling very um but yet we still don't listen because i feel like it's not just like the way i was just saying it it was like i i was giving a lot of like movie movie th thriller type vibes but god in the bible it's a little bit more boring than that so like a lot of people they don't want to hear it but he's still talking and if you read some of these scriptures and, and these texts that i'm talking about you see how he's talking but see the thing that's 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 beautiful about god is that he's he's keeping it real that's why it's a little boring because he's not lying to us he's keeping he's telling stories that's based in stuff that's really like realer so it's like if i'm coming off the top of my dome i can make it sound any type of way because it's a lie i'm coming off the top of my dome but god is actually talking about events and stuff that was happening and why things led up to right now and with that history in there that true history it's like it's not going to be as exciting as, as, as somebody making like a soap opera or a po poet or something like that <clears throat> so god is you know because he talked in parables again what is he connecting to the emotions that's why I say everything ain't gonna make sense. Cause God, even God, Father Time, He's connecting with those emotions. Cause He want to connect with your emotions. Because He's wise enough to know 
that it's your emotions that's going to either make or break a human. It's the way you feel that's going to make or break you. And a lot of times the narcissists know the same thing. So they're attacking you with the same thing. They're trying to make you feel a certain type of way. 95% of the people try to break me in my life, try to mess with me emotionally. They try to come in, manipulate and do the emotions. That's what they do. They emotion, abuse emotion. Uh, if someone can't touch you emotionally, they can't touch you at all. Can't touch you at all. So yeah, they can't touch you at all. So. That's what it is, man. They can't, they can't do it. They can't do it. So yeah, yeah. yeah but everything is a skill communication is a skill um but you notice one thing about narcissism narcissism is whenever you get abused the first thing you do is you stop talking you get quiet you get humble you start feeling awkward it's the same usual suspects the same emotions that come up when you get either directly abused or indirectly abused it's the same vibrational matters that come up the same things so you want to be careful for who you let in your circle this is why i said earlier about friends you know all your Smither gonna make it through. Many will come to that door, but only a couple, if one or two, are actually in there. For because nine times out of ten, you're a better person without people. I hate to say it, but the world we live in today, you're better without people. People are people. Ain't nothing that's hurting us but people. Because they're the vessels that the evil come through. If it ain't for them, then it ain't no, it ain't really, you know, it ain't gonna say, it ain't, we ain't gonna say it ain't gonna be bad and good on earth, but it's gonna have to pick a, a different way of attack because a lot of times it's just people violating people. Uh, so, how do you manage not being a loner? This is where the Bible come in. That's why that's why I spoke on that. It's where the Bible comes in. Because you need answers for problems. You need answers for problems that you can't even, you have not even asked yourself this. But if you try to answer it, this is why I say everything not gonna make sense, bro. Perfect example right here, caught one. It's not gonna make no sense to your logical mind. It's not gonna make it one drop of sense but yet god spoke on her see what i'm saying he already spoke on it so it don't really got to make sense because if you go look at the scripture or the text you're going to see like i said a symbol the way god gonna talk hold on i don't know if i'm still gonna be live but i want to i'm gonna just do it on my phone i was gonna go on the laptop but i'm gonna I'm talk i'm gonna um, see what god said about that let me see what what um god said about um what you want to go the verse um uh what was i saying I forgot what even the concept was, but verse on people. I don't even remember. I ain't even gonna lie. My mind went blank. I think it was people abusing me or something like that. 
or making friends without being Yeah, verse on making friends, people making friends. Proverbs 18, 24. A man that hate friends must shew himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. You see what I'm saying, bro? That's more like a, 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 he's speaking in like a way, like. John 15, 13, greater love hate no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Sacrifice, but see, it's all about that but see that's one of the that's only one of the verses so let's look at some other verses because that's one of them but that's an important one but that one can't be done let me tell you why that one can't be done that one can't be done until people look at other verses of see the thing i love about the bible let me kick some game real quick it's multiple verses to one subject so if you talk about friendship you got to look at the multiple verses because what verse every verse ain't going to be the one that's going to what give you that energy that you need to see things the way you see it so let me look at something else let me look at something else because the first one says something else the second one says something else what does the Bible say about forming friendships? Proverbs 18.24 It said the same thing. A friend who stick, sticks closer than a brother. It says <laughs> Proverbs teaches us about a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Wealth brings many new friends, but a poor man is deserted by his friend. Who looked at it that way? You see what I'm saying? Wealth brings many new friends, but a poor man is deserted by his friend. So in all reality, you can't, um, <laughs> can't be poor. In a reality, because if you pour the Bible telling you right there, you're going to get violated. And that's the crazy part about it. So when people tell you, yeah, money ain't everything, money not important. Listen, nobody's saying it's important. It's not because you shouldn't even care about somebody walk away from you, but you should understand the reason why people are walking away. And if it's about some money, it may not be the fact that they're using you. It may be the fact that they don't want you to use them. So most people will get away from that type of energy. You could be as cool as you want, but you broke. Bible verses on being a good friend do to others as you would have them do to you and like I said a lot of these script a lot of these verses you got to break them down mentally because it's not like you can just say to yourself oh I'm gonna take it as is nah really decode that jump like decode it because 
the way, like I said, the way God talks, God talks in parable. So if you're talking in a parable, he's it's actually, an, uh, he's giving you a solution, but you got to look at the beginning of that math equation. So he'll give you, if you be like, yo, what's four plus four? He'll just give you the eight. But you have to look at the four plus four again because that's really where you're going to have to change something to get that same eight but the, it's not the it's not the end it's not the it's not the outcome it's the it's the it's the uh the way your the ingredients of the, the thing that's messed up a lot of the time so you got to look at that so you got to really break down like what did he mean when he meant this part like like for instance like he said therefore as god chosen people holy and dearly love uh, clothe clothe yourself with compassion kindness humility gentleness and patience so I'm going to just take that part right there. So you'll ask yourself, you'll be like, what did he mean when he said, clothe yourself? <clears throat> right? Because he's not talking about no physical clothes. But what is he talking about? He's talking about just wrap yourself with compassion and humble. Well, how do I be more humble and compassionate? I thought I was humble and compassionate, right? It's like, no, like, break that down some more. Because what about you isn't humble and compassionate? Because you may be humble and compassionate to a four or five, but how could you be humble and compassionate to a six, seven, or eight? Because, like, incorporating that into your character is what God going to see. They're telling you that because that's what God said. So, if you really want to draw closer to God, you can't just read something and be like, oh, well, I read it, so that means that I'm connected. Nah, you got to really try to get that into your character. That's where you're going to see that major quantum leap, that major difference. So, like, to go back to what bro Ant was saying, when Ant, Ant was talking about, uh, Ant was talking about, uh, you know, he's talking about uh, life situations and how he can get better. It's not really about a, 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 a answer because the an answer is just something you want to just forget in a sense. But the reason God God is so good because the way he's breaking it down with the text, the scripture. You could literally write a scripture. You could tattoo that on you. Like you could, you could a scripture. It got so much great. I'm telling you, it's built like a metaphysical ladder for you to stand on it. Like it's you could stand on that. So like I know my own character. I know when it comes to friendships and people, I'm very humble. I don't know if people can tell or not because I don't get validated about that a lot but i'm very humble and i know some people may believe otherwise but that's not my problem but it can become my problem because if i carry that attitude and they carry that attitude then we just never see but as i that's why i say pick up the bible and the scripture because that's the only way you could really humble yourself and someone told me before, you should not let other people humble you. You should humble yourself. But it's hard to do that around a bunch of narcissists, right? So you need God and his text, maybe a therapist or whatnot. You need these different modalities so you can chime in on your own character. My channel all about character building, too. So it's like you don't want to get out here and then you really are the problem. You know what I'm saying? You want to get out here and people see like, nah, they the chosen one and they carry themselves this type of way. So now it's like they really got to tighten up. But if you got flaws and stuff, 
and you say I'm the chosen one, but you got all these flaws, what you think gonna happen? You see what I'm saying? What you think people gonna do? So we gotta just be mindful of how we conduct ourselves and stuff like that. Yeah, so stuff like that. I'm probably about this. We'll be three hours and 15 minutes. So I'm probably about to get out of here now. I ain't gonna lie. It's three people in here. I feel like I don't know who in here, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm 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 bring it to a close. Um, I don't know if y'all got that last thing I was saying though, about it. God speaking in parables. Because you got to multiply God, coaches, and therapists and bring and cook with these three ingredients in everything in life. So if I say I want to get better at making friends, I have to zone in on that. And I have to say, well, what did God say? What do I think? What do my therapist think? Or what do my friendship coach think? And when I bring all of these people to the table, it comes up with a different form of information that I wouldn't have got if it was just me and God, or if it was just me and the therapist, or if it was just me. I need a couple of people so I could come up with the perfect things to say so I can learn from successes too. Because we typically only learn from our failures, which is an imbalance because, you know, you're you're learning, but you're learning how to fail. You're learning how to take failure. But at that point, where do you ever learn how to take success? You never learn how to take success. You gotta learn how to take success. Two. So you gotta just think about that balance right there. So Yeah, you gotta learn how to take success because they both matter and they both gonna happen. And, you know, you just gotta be careful. So, yeah, man. This is a good three hours, man. See you on the next video, man. It's your boy Willard. Uh, I love all the chosen ones, man. Shout out to Ant in the building. We got a couple people stopped by. A um, couple new people got wrenched up, wrench, wrenches. That mean that they're going to be, um, they're going to be taking care of things. Somebody come in here talking that talk. We're going we gonna, to we gonna follow through, man, because we nice people, but we need to be played with. You know what I'm saying? God cho God's family, God's chosen people, we ain't meant to it ain't meant to be um taken as weakness. So that's how we gonna move on that. And just good energy. Um yeah, solar eclipse stuff, some new we're going into a new new season, new year, new new everything. Everything is renewing itself. We ain't got to be worried about the past. The past passes the past, bro. Trust me. Things are changing. So I'm about to lay down. I'm about to do something. I don't know. I'm about to lay down, man. I'm about to lay down. See you on the next video, man.